Hello friends and welcome back to Storytime with Teacher Julian. Today we will be reading the second part of our book, Butterfly Alphabet. Remember, the first part was A through M and we're going to read N through Z. That's half of the alphabet, 13 letters. Ready? Let's get started. N. It's a letter N. Let's see right here. Another N. Butterflies enchant the hours, sipping nectar from the flowers. Now, nectar is the clear liquid that is um, in flowers, the pollen, and the butterflies go to the flowers and they drink that nectar. O, O. Ornaments floating in the air, charming all who see them there. So, you know, sometimes, um, like on a Christmas tree, they have those round balls that are hanging there. Those are ornaments. It's a decoration. So, that's what they mean by ornament. It's a decoration. P, there's the letter P right there. They tumble on the breeze all day like carnival acrobats at play. So when they're talking about a carnival acrobat, it means somebody who swings from a trapeze back and forth. Well, they're saying that the butterfly is very graceful like a carnival acrobat. Get the circus kind of like. It looks like an O, but look. There's that right there. That's a letter Q. Q. Quickly flitting, never still, free to wander where they will. Letter R. There's a letter R. Radiant colors catch the light, imagination taking flight. So when it says radiant colors, radiant means that they like come out at you. They, they're not just sitting still when you look at them you feel like they're coming out towards you like they that's what radiant means the letter s like s when butterflies in garden meet every flower smells more sweet letter T. T. Nature's angels fill the skies, twinkling butterflies disguise. So disguise means when something looks like something else. Like say for instance if I put on a, a hat and glasses and a fake beard, that would be a disguise. Dressing up to look like something different. You. You. There's the you right there. Each morning, butterflies' wings unfold, their treasures scarlet, blue, and gold. Scarlet means red. Red V. There's the V right there. So simple in the majesty of nature's vibrant tapestry. 
So when it says vibrant tapestry, that just means that it's bright colors and tapestry is cloth. Vibrant tapestry is like bright cloth. W. There's a W right there. Delicate wings grace the air as gently as a whispered prayer. Oh, there's an X. Yeah. And there's an X right there. No delight is more ex exquisite than a surprise butterfly visit. So exquisite means something very, very splendid or something very, very nice. Exquisite. You're like you really, it's really nice. You really appreciate it as exquisite. The letter Y. There's a Y right there. Daydreaming are fancy flies yonder with the butterflies. Yonder means like over there. Over yonder. Not where you're at, but somewhere close nearby. Over yonder. Right, down to our last letter. The letter Z. There's a Z right there. A butterfly wish that all may see and love their zigzag liberty. So remember how when butterflies fly, they don't fly in that straight line. They kind of flutter in zigzag shapes. And that's the end. So here's the back of the book. These are all the letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And they even have numbers. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. That looks like an eight. Well, I guess they're going to say it's a six. Seven, eight, nine, and zero. All on butterflies' wings. Spectacular. And there's the front of the book. The butterfly alphabet. So, friends... Now that we've seen all the letters of the alphabet on a butterfly's wing, now it's your chance. Go out and look at butterflies. Wait until they land on something. Walk up close and look. See if you can see something on there. Maybe you'll be able to spot the letter of your name. See if you can find a J for Teacher Julian. Right? So look for your name on a butterfly's wing. Okay? That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the book, the two different readings. I enjoyed reading it. And until next time, I'm going to say goodbye.